What's up guys, the April Patreon rewards are now available. Armageddon, Teferi Time Reveler, and Nekusar the Mind Razor are all available through the end of the month. If you'd like to support our channel and pick up these sweet proxies, you can do so at patreon.com slash itresolves or clicking the link in the description below. What's going on guys? Welcome to the part two of this Eerie Ultimatum deck. Uh, if you did not check out the uh, part one video of this, Highly recommend you do so, uh, more importantly in this one than most, uh, because we are kind of running an, an odd mix of cards here. So uh, definitely check that out. Um, this hand, I don't love it, uh, to be honest. If we're against like an aggro deck, I don't think we can keep this. Uh, this is better, but not great. Um, let's put the swamp back here. I don't love this. Uh, ugh. Still don't love this, but oh, Shatter helps actually quite a bit. Um, I'm going to keep that land on top because, uh, again, our our goal now is kind of just to get to Shatter, I think. Sure. Kind of would rather them have this out than anything else. Uh, so that's actually okay. Play that out. We just hope we get there. Ginger Brute. Yeah, yeah. We're going to take a lot of damage in this process, guys. Yep. Down to 10. Um, Well, that's something, I guess. Throw you out, and let's throw you out. Gain a couple life, get some stuff in the graveyard. That's a good start. Also just gives us a block if we want it. Um. <clears throat> And baits a shock. That's fine. Yep. Pretty good. Pretty good. Pretty good. Play it. Please play it. Please play it. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. You, sir. Or ma'am. I don't know. Shouldn't have done that. <laughs> Uh, let's get our white source out, and let's shatter. Boom. Next turn, we've got either Ashiok into Paradise Druid or Questing Beast here. That's good, but we have Questing Beast. Uh, let's go ahead and get that out. Throw Godless Shrine down, and I'm happy to attack here. All right. We're, I mean, we're very close to dead, so we just kind of have to get lucky here. Oh, no. That kills us? No. Oh, that actually... We just have to hope they don't have a haster. If they draw, like, a fervent champion, we lose, but I think we just kind of have to go for it there. Okay, they didn't. Throw you out there. And throw you out there. If we can stabilize at one, I am going to be amazed. I highly doubt it, because they could just shock us. But, <laughs> we got to give it a shot, right? Seriously. Um, okay, well. So here's my thing. We can get a questing beast, but I actually kind of think we have to go for the Mire Shriton, because it gives us two life. And we sorely, sorely need that to life. Uh, let's do this. Throw you out there. I'm just going to attack with this because it's not going to really matter. And I think I will go ahead and search up. What do we need? Let's get a black. We've got, I think, plenty of everything. Um, all right. Maybe we did it. I don't know. Vivian's not bad. I uh, should have Vivian first, but actually that kind of worked out. Um, oh, hello. Uh, well, I can't play you yet, but... Oh, that might have been a mistake. No, actually it wasn't. Just kidding. I lied. If they get like a skewer of the critics, we lose. So I'm really just kind of hoping they don't have that. 
Oh, do we lose? We lose, don't we? Man. Shouldn't have attacked. That was a mistake. Well, you live and you learn. Um, that was a really good game, though. I'm perfectly happy with that. We did, I think, fairly well up until that last attack. So, fair enough. Fair enough. Well done, opponent. Let's, uh, let's jump into game two here. This deck is very fun. You saw the power level. I mean, we did get to stabilize. Excuse me. Uh, what I love about this is we get to run things like Shatter the Sky in a creature-focused deck. Like, obviously, that's not the norm. Um, I'm going to try it. I don't think this is good, but whoops. Go back, go back. There we go. All right. I'm going to try. I, I don't think this is great. Again, if we're against an aggro deck, this is quite bad. Looks like we might be. Uh, let's get Godless Shrine out. Next turn, we get Ashiok down. Yeah, that's not good for us. Uh, but we do get a Questing Beast soon, so... Maybe we should go Mire Triton first. At the very least, this is going to Beta Shock. And we get to uh, gain a couple of life out of it, too. Looks like we're against a Sacrifice deck, though. In which case, this Ashiok is going to be pretty important for us. So I am not looking to uh, to just burn that. Nice. Yep. Hmm. -hmm. Let's get you out there, and let's get you out there. All right. I will very happily block the Dread Horde Butcher uh, if given the opportunity here. Also like that I get to swing in a little bit, punch them back for all the hits that they've uh, they've hit with, uh, with us with. Yep. Yep. Wow, they had three witches ovens. That is pretty good. All too happy to block here. Don't care that they're gonna kill the questing beast. That's fine. They could just shoot us. I doubt it. Yeah. Uh, unfortunately. Nissa here doesn't seem all that great, uh, if I'm honest. In fact, it seems next to bad. Um, so I'm going to throw this out. We are kind of throwing this out into the wind here, and that might be bad for us, but we're going to try it. Also, it might be good to target them, but I'm going to I'm gonna stick to the game plan here. Exile their graveyard. We'll see what they do. Interesting, they do not have the Lurus as the companion here. Uh, that is worth noting. Okay, well, they're going to get to do some damage, um, without a doubt. I don't even know if... I mean, this is good for them, but it's not, like, amazing. <clears throat> and here I feel much better next turn playing into playing the Nyssa into everything. Um, they get to draw a card here, that's fine. We're going to get to exile their graveyard, though. Uh, I think, yeah, we can actually just play this. Let's scry. Hmm. Yeah, I'm going to keep that. In this case, I'm going to target them, uh, which is a bit strange. I know uh, that's not really the point of our deck, but I'm going to do this. That's actually kind of bad. We should have just let them have all that. Let's get Nissa out. Untap our temple garden here. I do get an attack in here, and we'll see what they can do. Feeling okay, but, I mean, they could draw pretty much anything. The great thing is we do have the Shatter the Sky coming, so what's nice is they get to they don't get to search. Oh, I feel bad. Uh, what's nice is if they play a creature here... Okay, there we go. We got the win. I like it. Very, very oppressive deck here like it a lot let's jump into our third and final game these are going pretty quickly guys uh unlike the first video we were going for quite a while in that one this one much much faster we're still under the 10 minute mark so let's see what we can do 
I really like this deck though. It feels it feels very very good. Um, I I'm into it. This is a pretty unexciting hand, but I am gonna keep it. And I think I'm pretty happy that I did. Um, I'm gonna do this now. Would make sense to do it at the end of their turn. I not super or super worried about that. I'm gonna get our white here. Just to confuse him. <laughs> I'm playing the Paradise Druid first, that's why I didn't really worry about, you know, what this was. I will straight up block, do not care. Again, we get to throw away creatures. Ooh, excuse me. Pretty easily. Uh, so it really doesn't matter to us. What'd they hit? Another land. Then, yeah, let's take out the robber. That robber gets very, very annoying very quickly. Um, probably could have played the feed ar Fiend Artisan, but that's okay. Gonna take this guy out. Um, they might just have like an Ember Cleave here, in which case we probably just lose. Not much we can do about that. And they, oh, they have Infuriate. Okay. Well, we're pretty dead. No doubt about that. Um, yep. Yep. No land. Well done. All right, these were the like fastest games that we could have possibly imagined with this deck. Uh, but we did get our two wins. Unfortunately, a bit of a slow start for us on that last game, but that's okay. Uh, we didn't really get to see the Eerie Ultimatum stuff go off this time. It was kind of just a value deck uh, in this case, but you can see how good it works even when we're not in a situation where we... Uh, did we get two? No, actually, we, we lost two, I believe. But... Uh, you can see how well this works in a situation where we even don't need the Eerie Ultimatum. We've got quite a lot of other things that are just kind of doing a lot of work for us. So hopefully you enjoyed this deck list. I highly recommend trying this one out. I think this is a decent starting template. You can play around with this deck quite a bit. There are even some cards I know uh, people are running things like putting blue in for Tamiyo uh, to help fill your graveyard, things like that. By all means, try them out. Let me know if you get a uh, a list that you're really excited about together uh, so that way we can give it a shot as well I would love to see that I, I love this deck I'm probably looking to play it again at some point so we'll, we'll try some different configurations regardless though uh, I really do hope you enjoyed this video if you did please make sure to leave a like or a comment down below and of course as always make sure to subscribe if you're not already uh, we really do appreciate it. Make sure you enter our Akoria giveaway as well. We are giving away a free bundle. You can check all the details out on our Instagram, but all you got to do is uh, subscribe on YouTube, comment on any video with hashtag Akoria giveaway. It does not matter which one, and you're entered to win. We'll let you know that you entered, so just a heads up there. Uh, we'll give you a thanks for entering or something like that. Uh, and then uh, we'll, we'll choose that winner on Saturday, May 16th, the day after Akoria drops in paper. So we'll give away that bundle then. So thanks a lot, guys. I will see you in the next gameplay video.